hundreds of millions of students around the world cannot afford higher education. The graduate high school can and eligible to attend university, but they cannot do that. Okay. They cannot do that for many reasons, some of them are obvious. Higher education is expensive, and it is expensive worldwide. In most countries around the world, universities are expensive. A lot of students cannot afford it. In many other countries, there just aren't enough, enough seats. Students graduate high school, take a placement exam, either they're in or they're out. They're out, they have no future. In other cultures, women are excluded from high school. And in some countries, students live in the village, get accepted to the university, but in order to attend the university, they need to relocate and move to the big city. Well, the families cannot afford losing them. So they stay with their families. They don't go to a university. No bright future. Well, technology is there to help them. Technology is available for them. And we can and should help these students. And that's why we chose to introduce University of the People. University of the People is the first nonprofit online tuition free uni university dedicated to bring democracy to higher education through technology. So we basically use the available technology the, to bring the knowledge that is out there, or actually out here, to the most remote places in the world. We offer, the, we offer business administration and computer science. And while showing you some of our students and what they say, let me tell you a little bit about why we chose business administration and computer science. We chose these two programs because, first of all, they are the most likely to help students to find a job. If you have a degree in business administration or computer science, you are very likely to find a job. But also, there is another reason, which is as important, or maybe even more important for us. Because these two programs are, are one of the very few that are culturally neutral. This enables us to put students from different cultures at the same classroom. Because registration of computer science in the US, in China, in Saudi Arabia, in Colombia, in any country, we basically study the same program. So we can put the students together in the same classroom. By doing so, we're not only teaching them, but opening their minds to other cultures, to other ways of thoughts. And we believe that this is as important as the content that we teach them. And by doing so, we believe that we make this closer. So we chose these two programs, and the question obviously is how do we do it? How can we do it tuition free? And the, the, the thing that makes it possible for us to be tuition free is because we take everything that is available free on the internet, package it together, and deliver it to our students. So we use open source technology. We use Moodle. We use open educational resources. All of our courses are based on open, co open material that is, that is on the net. And obviously, the textbook that we send our students to read are open textbook. We use peer-to-peer -peer learning. The students teaching each other. But also, we use volunteers. We have a lot of volunteers that are coming to help our students and enable them to study. We don't use audio and we don't use video. We want to make sure that our students, wherever they are, with any technology that they use, can, can, be, can, can study with us. So we know that we have a lot of students that use internet cafe in order to study. Some of them are using USB, coming to the internet cafe a few times a week, download the material from the classroom, upload their material in the, for the classroom, and go back home. So we want to make sure that any students with any technology can use us. Well, so they don't enjoy video, they don't en enjoy audio, we might send them to, do, to, to enjoy it if they are able, but it's not a mandatory thing. And we also ask synchronous, because we cannot put students together at the same time zone. Well, students from China and uh, obviously and, uh, and the US and Hawaii and uh, Haiti, 
it's quite hard to find the same time to study together so we teach them as simple. So that's basically how we use it. As I said, we are tuition free. We are not free though. Students, when right now it is free in the future, every time student takes a class, he or she needs to pay ten to a hundred dollars for the examination processing fee. If a student comes from a poor country, they will pay ten dollars. Students come from a wealthy country, they will pay hundred dollars per test just to make the numbers clear, a full program over the four years will cost less than $400 for a student from a poor country and a student or oh, less than $100 a year and a student from a wealthy country will pay less than $1,000 a, a, a year. Let, let, let me give you a, a few facts just to see how it works. We started teaching a year and a half ago, September 2009. By now, we have accepted 900 students from 115 countries. So we basically have students every two and a half months, we accept another 100 students. By now we have students from all over the world, 115 uh, countries. We have for these 900 students over 2,000 volunteering professors. Professors who came on board and said, we want to help you to teach your students. Well. 900 students, 2,000 professors, nice ratio for universities. <laughs> Not a lot of universities can brag with this number. We can, so we do, obviously. So we have a lot, a lot of volunteers. And by now, we are research partners with Yale Law School, ISP. We are backed by the UN. And we have volunteers from Harvard, Yale, uh, NYU, Columbia. Our provost is from Columbia University of Dean's or from NYU. Uh, so we are backed up by all the right uh, university. Also, I think that it is very important, two more things. One is when we ask our students and we ask them every single term, would you recommend the university to your peers? Over 90% of them constantly say that they would recommend us to their peers. Well, we're quite proud of this. It means that we do, I guess, something right. And we have close to 200,000 fans on Facebook. So we are getting a momentum uh, there. Well, as I said, we are, a, we are building ourselves and we're building a model. And we're building a model basically to show that tuition-free university can be out there. And we build a model to show that it can be out there and it's sustainable. And our sustainability is basically to come and tell universities, look, you teach 10,000 students, you teach 20,000 students, maybe 30,000 students, why not add zero to your numbers and teach 100,000 students, 200,000 students, or 300,000 students? It can be done, and it hardly costs any money. So why not to do it? What is actually your mission if not to teach as many students as you can? But even more so, I think that we send a very strong message to developing countries' governments. Because our success means that they can do exactly what we do. And right now, in many developing countries, the governments spend the few millions that they have to build their own, their own Harvard, their own Yale, or, or, or Sorbonne, or Oxford. Well, you don't build these institutions with a few millions dollars, with a few million dollars, but you can use this money to educate your entire population. And that's what we do. <laughs> so, so just to finish by saying that we build the model to show we help our students but by helping them. We help their families, we help their communities, we help their countries, and if we succeed big time, we help the world, and we believe that we make peace a bit closer. Thanks.